Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Silo Janda, and this is my Let's Play of Ruler Waves 3 as the United States. We are continuing to move through the early 1950s. We remain at peace, although tensions are starting to rise with a few countries. And we are rapidly expanding and modernizing the fleet as we go as the Missile Age begins. We're also building six supercarriers simultaneously right now. Seven more destroyers commissioned. Yeah. Yeah, we're just, um... Well, since we've conquered so much of the world, taken everybody's resources so much, our budget is currently well over double the second largest country's budget. Um, oh, no, wait, actually, Japan has a pretty large budget still. I wasn't looking at them. Japan really is about the only country that's, like, worth fighting at this point. Because... Germany, Britain, and France, and even Russia, have been beaten up so much that they're just like... I mean, Britain still only has three surface capital ships this long after the war. And their budget is smaller than Germany's. Yeah... So I can fit just as many piston... Yeah, that makes sense. It's not very... It's kind of opaque in terms of number of aircraft. Like, it'll say 72, but you're suggesting I could still shove more piston engine fighters on it if I wanted. Okay, too much money again. Six more destroyers commissioned. Russo-Austrian alliance has expired. Um, well, we have enough shipyard capacity for me to build one more Yorktown. Not to build two. Well, that's the issue, too, actually. With all these carriers building, I can't even spend the money on new ships because <laughs> we're at capacity for global shipyards, apparently. Oops. Oopsies. There we go. True. Just start training. Um, I don't even have missile cruisers. I don't think I can put missiles on cruisers. I was thinking about trying to build one, but... Uh, oh, actually, apparently I can at least put... I could refit them with heavy uh, SSMs, actually. Although it puts her overweight, but that's a lesser problem. Okay. Yes, and we can, I think, should be able to refit them onto the Raleigh class light cruisers for sure. Of course, we still only have, um, I mean, there haven't been any, any breakthroughs there. We still only have early surface-to-surface -surface missiles. I'm not sure how good they are exactly, but... We have so much money that they might be worth, uh, worth trying. Well, we can only stick two on a light cruiser anyway, so... I assume I can't have, no... Um, that exceeds the top side equipment. Oh, let's get a better radar limit, too. Ooh, that's expensive in weight. Well, what if I take a couple of these dual-purpose secondaries off? Doesn't really fix the problem. What if I take a couple more of them off? And we're still over the top side equipment limit. How about now? Slightly overweight, but we can fit better radar, and we can shove in a couple of. Uh, yeah, I mean, missile is still, <laughs> still better than anything before it, obviously. But uh, all right, 
We'll be slightly overweight, but I don't think that's a huge deal. We can shove on better radar and two missile launchers at the cost of some of our four-inch guns. Do I need... Oh, that's right. We do still have a ton of torpedoes. I was going to remove some of these in order to make way for the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. If we reduce it to that now, we're not overweight anymore. Yay. We're still past our top side. No, we're not, but... Okay. If I take one of these off entirely, it doesn't help the top side equipment limit that much. Oh god, where was this? Port brought... F. Uh, was G the direct equivalent? Yes, okay, good. It's probably worth the secondary guns, I would think. Oh, is that the case? Well, in that case, maybe I take more. Oh, yes. All right, all right, all right. I see. Well, that does help. And then I could stick... Well, I couldn't stick these back on because we were just too much topside equipment. If I take radar direction off this, that helps, but I assume they're much, much better when radar directed. I think we're going to have to stick with this. Okay, so... Two twin... Tor that is why I put the torps there in the first place. That is, that is, yes. Um, to fill space. I didn't realize they were taking up exactly the same slots. I was thinking more of it in a weight sense. Uh, could we... Fix that. There we go. Alright. I can't fit as many secondary guns on, because I think it's the radar-directed AA that's actually the problem in that regard. But that's true, we don't have Seawiz yet, so... The light AA is probably kind of worthless, huh? Not that there's much of it on there. I couldn't fit much else in the slot anyway. What you think? Three inch would be more. It doesn't even take up less or more space, though. So whatever. Um. I guess three inch fire faster, but. Should make them auto loading too. I mean, I can easily afford 4-inch from a weight perspective, though. I don't know if it's actually any better at AA, though, considering they would fire slower, presumably, but... Jofu thinks that 3-inch will be better. Okay, we'll go with that. We have way too much excess weight available, but... That's true, yeah. But I don't really have anything... At this point, the top side load is our limit instead of the weight, so... I could sneak an extra gun on. Oh, but I think that added a bunch of... Uh... No, that actually didn't. Apparently, the refit takes eight months anyway. Probably because of the missile launchers or something. So... Sneak an extra gun on just for the hell of it. Because we have the weight. I don't know what else to do with the... Oh, okay, no, that breaks our topside equipment limit. I forgot about that. Never mind, then. We'll just have extra buoyancy, I guess. Oh, would the light AA take coming off make enough room? It actually would. Oh, but it still causes us to be overgunned. Yeah, never mind it, then. Oh, I guess I could have more, um... Okay, that's probably better. That's probably better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I like how this looks.
Yeah, I'm just going to rebuild all of them at once. Oh my god, it literally made not a dent in our budget. The visuals? Oh, <laughs> what was wrong with the visuals? Oh, not enough guns on. I see. Uh, it'll be fine. Now what do I spend money on? The issue is we're literally at dockyard capacity. I can try to refit the Charlottes to have... Uh, really, probably more Raleigh-class light cruisers would be a good idea. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. At least it's got the right number of turrets main gun turrets, you know. It's got, I think, all the torpedo and missile launchers represented. Could definitely be worse. A year still until the first four Yorktowns are finished. These carriers should be more expensive to build, honestly. <laughs> At least then it would burn up my budget along with my dockyard space. Although, I mean, obviously a lot of them is hollow space, so I guess I understand why they're cheaper than the equivalent battleship would be, but... Fleet exercise to spend money. That's an idea. Oh yes, the uh, Ericsons all have four heavy surface, surface missile launchers. Along with torpedo tubes and five-inch guns and all that. And that's all we've got now, so. I could try to... I think we could put surface missiles on the capital ships, too, but... Alright, how much shipyard capacity do I have? Very little. I'm gonna lay down another Raleigh class, but... I, that's not gonna make enough of a dent in the budget, either. That's true, the aircraft on it cost more, too. Our aircraft maintenance is up to something horrifying, like... 12,000 a month. And that's before I even remembered to, uh... Replace all my light jet fighters with heavy jet fighters, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do. And, actually, yeah, jet attack aircraft. I assume those totally take the place of dive and torpedo bombers, so... I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, maybe this will burn up all my money. It's going to be very expensive operating all these heavy jet aircraft. Shoot, maybe that rally is the outdated variant. That's a good point. I'll cancel it if it is. Um, do light jet aircraft make just as good a cap? Yeah, pretty much. In fact, statistically, what is even... The heavy aircraft just have slightly better... You know, significantly better range. I think I'm going to do it just because we have the money. And... <laughs> and at least that way we can escort our airstrikes better. Not that I'm especially good at remembering to do that, but... There's no financial reason not to, that we need to save money on that, so might as well. Hold on. This is not the correct move because it will reset all the aircraft, but I don't care. I'm just going to copy and paste. Or we'll fix it within a couple of months anyway. We produce plenty of aircraft. Okay. 
I'll let that settle down on the carriers before I, um... Okay, there's now an argument between commenters over whether the Hornet or the Crusader was a better aircraft. And, or, not better aircraft, but better doctrinally. I'm going to go with heavy jet fighters. I think it's fine. We still have too much money. Oops. All that messing around with the aircraft, and I still have too much money. Um, Russia? Well, I don't know why it increases our prestige, but uh, sure. We can cooperate with Russia, I guess. The Socialist Party's doing well. Well, it's a political matter. Go ahead, take my money away, make people happy, whatever. Struggling with the concept of a 3,800-ton destroyer. Oh, good. That actually took some of our budget away. This is the old Raleigh. Hold on. Okay. Never mind. Get out of here. Shouldn't I be able to build the new refit, though? Hmm. That's weird, actually. Shouldn't I... Can I not lay down the design as refitted? Oh, clicking the shoulder designs thing was horrifying. Okay. I guess I could... Why only with Oregon? Hmm. A couple of them I can. Most of them I can't. Weird. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, well, tell you what I'm going to do, because I think we would probably benefit from placing our older light cruisers with more modern Raleigh types, is... I am going to... Yes, and then, is there any other obvious improvement I can make to this? Not really, I'm still quite happy with it, I think. So, nope, not that. Man, 12,000 tons, I wish I could get that. Maybe, although then again, torpedo defense is about to be Okay. I've been told that if I uh, do this, that it works slightly better. Oh yeah, 10% change, okay. Not too worried about budget, to be fair. I was about to try to add 500 tons to cram in torpedo defense, but it kind of occurs to me that torpedoes are about to become significantly less relevant. And I don't think torpedo defense helps against missiles. So, maybe we just leave it like this. And call it, um... That. It's going to try to name the first ship in the class, that isn't it? Oh well. I'll change it manually. Why are guided torpedoes? Better submarine torpedo hit chances. Vaughts developed a heavy jet fighter. 
it is longer ranged than the Martin, but it's not better. No, I don't want it, Vaughn. Get out of here. Ah, uh, yes, and 10% cheaper design iteration, not that that matters. How many of these can I lay down? Three? Do not name it Raleigh. Anybody else got a mid-sized American city they'd like me to name a ship after? Because... <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, Omaha. Okay. That is a good cruiser name. Can I fit 36? No, I only have two. We only have 6,400 tons of free dockyard space. Is the issue there? Hey, why is this one faster than all the others? Whatever. Oh my, oh, I just named the second one Raleigh Block, too. Good grief. Negative, oh wow, look at what we've done. <laughs> is it gonna try to name every ship Raleigh Block, too? I'm just gonna leave one called that for a minute so that it gives up. Great Britain has granted independence to Ireland. I'm kind of astonished they held on to it that long after losing the war with us so badly, honestly. Oh yeah, it's just accelerated in cost, too. Did I push that somehow? Uh, no, I have no business in Italy and austria Hungary. What is this, like the fifth or sixth war they fought since the start of the game? The president's returned from a state visit to Japan. Armed for conflict and beat them soundly. They're literally the only ones I'm still interested in fighting at the moment. Why are you... Okay. Should I build more submarines? We still can't build missile submarines, though, so I don't think so. I'm not going to bother. Maybe once we develop missile submarines, because obviously those have a bit of... um. Fleet exercise, huh? Well, we certainly have the money. The fleet's looking pretty nice. Although now we're perilously close to war with Japan, so maybe, um... Maybe it's also time to turn on, uh... Well, that will certainly hurt the budget. We better go to war soon. <laughs> See a fleet exercise just to try out missile combat. All right, all right. Seems there's some popular demand for a fleet exercise. Let's, uh, oh boy. That's a lot of destroyers to allocate. What should we give ourselves? How big a fleet exercise am I trying to arrange here? We are about to go to war. Maybe I'll limit the size of the fleet exercise a little bit, just so that we can um, still have money. Yeah. Let's just make like a... Uh, do I not have a... Oh, I see. Okay. Really? I can't shift-click these? Alright. Wow, that would be incredibly annoying to actually add, like, 50 destroyers on each side to. Day, good, classic, sure. Yes. Sure. Let's see, ProMain would like the oh, huh? Should have put you guys in, yeah? <laughs> That's alright. 
I now have ships with surface-to-surface -surface missiles under my command. I cannot multi-select with shift. Yeah, I just tried, but no, you cannot. Not on that screen, anyway. Um, I just clicked out of that, and I didn't see what it said. Oh, missile control panel. Fire mode. Ripple. Fire at will. Salvo. Oh, I see. Well, that's fascinating. <laughs> I'll, yeah, all right. You know what? After this exercise is over, I'll set up a 1v1. Radar contact. Oh, they're down there. Okay. Let's go to maximum speed. You guys hear that lawnmower? Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, one per year. Okay, well, you'll just have to you'll, you'll have to live with it. Can I fire missiles at radar contacts? I can. Or maybe I can't. Seems like I can't. Or what if I select and then? No. Okay. How do I, um, if I select firing units, uh, maybe not. Yeah. I don't know what the range of heavy SSMs is. 20,000 is one of these, the missile range. Gun range, torpedo range, radar range. Oh, uh, we should be in range. Oh boy, enemy targeting radar is locking on to Ericsson. Uh, let's see here. My heavy SSM range is 25,000. Well, we're easily in range. Why don't I get firing units then? Oh, we have to have a visual on targets because we do not have radar-guided missiles yet. Uh, yep. Ships can only fire at targets visually seen and only at targets spotted by themselves. So we have to get a little closer first. Oh, I think they're firing missiles at us. That's a little unfair. Wait, we visually see them now. Maybe we can fire back before we die. Uh, let's have the lead two ships, um, wasn't that fancy, complete with a klaxon sound effect. I'm pretty sure that's an incoming missile. We were just overflown by about five missiles, so that's probably... A success, maybe. Hmm. Seems like you've pretty much fired off all your missiles, you two. Why don't you just uh, um, fire vampire, vampire? Yes. How is half five out of eight? In what world? When I push fire half, does that equate in the targeting officer's brain to five out of eight? The Navy, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, well, Ericsson's been struck by a missile, which was very, very bad for her. Yeah, she is not okay. Total force, you think? Maybe. Which does not really make sense. Oh. Um, I think we're out of missiles, right? Or do we still have three? We still have three. Cunningham, why don't you fire at um, that third ship in line? I think we haven't hit that one, maybe. The hell you mean zero missiles fired? Oh, there we go.
don't think we hit anything. Now it's just a gunfight. So yeah, the missiles are a little bit... To be fair, Ericsson is a complete wreck structurally, but is in no danger whatsoever of sinking, so... She's alright for now. It could be that early missile launchers are prone to firing whatever they want. Hmm. Well, I think we might be losing this exercise. I think we're definitely losing this exercise. Whoops. You know, they're not even maneuvering either. They're just going in a straight line next to us. It's not my fault that we got hit by so many more torpedoes than them. Yeah, I'm beginning to think we're not okay. Alright, but how did the missiles do? Hmm, I'm beginning to think that, uh, yeah, we lied about getting missile hits. We didn't actually hit them with any missiles. Kind of embarrassing, really. Because we only got hit by two, so... Yeah, the average hit rate of those missiles, not too high. Oh, our tension with Japan is 11. Well... That's fine. Okay, let me see about, um... Should have been doing this earlier. Let's uh, just see about our air bases in the Japan region. Let's get, uh, some jet fighters out there to start with. And I'll add other stuff as the air base gets bigger. Yeah, two out of 32 missiles at very close, well, very close range, but it's also pretty much the maximum range of our missiles, keep in mind, so. That's a good suggestion. Night capable. Probably makes sense for these. How do I... There we go. All our other naval air stations I think I can leave alone, because... I guess I should probably start moving a squadron out here, huh? How much base capacity do I have, anyway? 160. Not bad. I mean, I could try to build a base up further, maybe on... Sakhalin or something, but it would take a while. Sure. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, heavy jets carry ASMs, evidently, is the better uh, in game reason. Although, I could have sworn. Oh, yeah, no, our light care jets can't. Our heavy jets actually already can carry medium anti surface missiles. Uh, so that's handy. We're actually losing a lot of money. I'm so proud. It's because of the training. Um, okay, the Yorktowns will not be ready in time for the war, so... I'm gonna get a nice squadron of... Well, hold on. Let's see here. Four Shangri-Las, plus... Three Vermonts, plus two Oriskanes, plus... Like... Six Charlottes plus. This is going to be way too much capacity. But I'm going to move all this to the west coast at least to start with, and then we'll see how much I can move further out east. Alright, the Raleigh's are all in rebuild still. That's annoying. Okay, I'm going to move all this to the west coast, 
and then we'll deploy from there when the war actually breaks out. Uh, Star Jumper um, bribed his way into getting an aircraft carrier. Uh, never let it be said that my navy is above uh, the fine art of um, what do they call it? A patronage. <laughs> If it was good enough for the Royal Navy, it's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, the war party demands immediate action against Japan. <laughs> Sounds like a fine idea to me. Oh, wait. Should we wait and provoke them subtly to be the aggressor? Wait, nobody cares about international opinion. Sounds like a fine idea to me. Okay, we are at a state of war with Japan. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.